Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you're coming at from visiting in the world. My name is Master Paul Fletcher. I am honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. He is truly the only reason I even have that title in front of my name, because truly I'm just a regular Joe, just trying to serve humanity, just have a heart of service, just like most of the people that come online today. The reason I've been given this title is because I've done almost uh, 10 years of very dedicated work to open my spiritual channels and I've received very powerful healing transmissions <clears throat> so that I can be better assistance to humanity and other souls. So I wish to bow my head to my spiritual teacher, father and spiritual master, Master Shah, for without him I would have no opportunity to serve. So I wanted to start by first of all saying thank you to all of the, the veterans who have been coming uh, for when I started my live stream three months ago. There are so many that steadfastly supported me. They came every day and, uh, and now it is starting to grow. We're starting to see some new faces. So I wish to honor them and say thank you to them very much. <clears throat> the last couple of days we have been doing soul readings for the core health issues. And uh, the core health issues often have a root in karma. So I'm going to start by offering a little uh, teaching and blessing. But we're going to also connect heart to heart, soul to soul first. I'll offer a little teaching regarding the, um, the nature of the source of blockages. And then we'll go ahead and move straight into readings. Today again, I will be focusing uh, on uh, serving the, the veterans, those that have been following me for a while because uh, I have ignored them the last two days. I hope you understand. So let us place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, which is just like a, a prayer position, but the left hand drops in front of the heart center. <clears throat> this connects the heavenly realms into our heart center. Close your eyes. Dear beloved divine, all layers of the divine Tao and the source up to original creator, beloved Master Shah, Master Shah's original soul, Dear all of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you, and I bow down to you. I ask for your presence here today. Dear Namo Amitofu, beloved Kuan Yin, Da Shijur Pusa, dear beloved Jesus, dear beloved Mother Mary, dear all Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Lamas, Sifus, Gurus, Saints, angels, healing angels, and archangels, we love you, honor you, respect you, bow to you. Do the heavens animals love you, honor you, respect you, bow to you. Do you please come at this time. Offer your guidance, your love, and your blessings to everyone that comes on the line. Please assist them with transforming whatever mindsets, attitudes, beliefs are, um, assist the, are troubling them that bring the, whatever physical suffering they are experiencing at this time, physical, emotional, mental suffering. Please also guide my voice, my words, so that I speak the truth, so that I speak with the greatest integrity and clarity and correctness to guide those beautiful souls as to how I can best serve them. <clears throat> Dear the source soul song of love, peace and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. We invite you to please turn on in all souls in all universes and we invite you to join us at this time. So let us chant love, peace, and harmony to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. La lu la li la lu la li la lu la la li lu la lu la li lu la Join heart 
hearts and souls together love peace and harmony love peace and harmony how 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 thank you thank you thank you so welcome petra marie coming in late from europe it's probably 2 30 in the morning over there or two o'clock in the morning but she shows up like a trooper welcome petra colleen um Anne Mascara, great to see you, Anne. And then Kelsey, wonderful to see you as well. Patricia, Johnny, and Amy, wonderful to see you as well, Amy. Kristen, and Kristen Rojas. Christy Kota, Pat JD, and uh, Healing Ray, Crystal Ray, and Yvonne, great to see you all as well. <coughs> Monica, Melissa Corwin, and I see Kristen's question. Uh, Mel from Australia, welcome Mel. Suki, Raul, greetings Raul. And Rian has joined us as well. So I will start by uh, offering readings for our veterans, for those that have been supporting me for a while. I want to make sure that they have an opportunity to get some of their answers as to the root cause. So remember, ask the question very specifically. Don't say, give me a soul reading in general. Uh, please ask the question, what is the root cause of this and this and this? And then I can uh, check with heaven for that, okay? Okay, so first thing. Dear Master, I have been and have honored for the Dao Chang and Dao Dong blessings for that. Um, what is my standing with this condition and what is its karmic causes? Okay? Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. To the soul of Kristen Strachan, the root cause of Kristen's hypertension. What has she received through the blessings, and what else needs to be known? Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. I'm getting a really curious answer, Kristen. It's saying that the root cause actually is in the brain. Um, see if I get anything else. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. It's saying that if you haven't received a cardiovascular system transmission for the whole system, it'd probably be a good idea because that would include some of the circuitry happening in the brain. But there is some uh, brain to cardiovascular system communication that is a bit off, is the message that I'm hearing. <clears throat> but the blessings you have received so far um, have definitely helped. I'm hearing that one of them was life saving, so that's good for you. Hopefully, that assists you. Okay. Okay, Melissa has asked, what would be, uh, dear Master Paul, I'd be so grateful to know the root causes of several rather large ovarian cysts that have had several years and there's a possibility that I'm developing into a cancer. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, you. Yeah, hey. To the soul of this question, the soul of the, the root of these uh, ovarian cysts. Um, any additional information from this at this time would be greatly appreciated. Um, no, no one at converting into cancer as long as you continue with the appropriate diet. Hey, uh, hey, uh. The source I'm hearing is actually a curse uh, on the mother's side. It goes back quite a, quite a long time. Um, and it's related to um, any inappropriate sexual activity. Um, when 
when an ancestor on your mother's side, so not a mother, but an ancestor on your mother's side, a male, um, took advantage of others, and that that has um, continued to show up, that's the root of it. And I'm, 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 I asked if divine services would help you, Melissa, and it said that it would definitely reduce the swelling and reduce the, the opportunity for it to grow, that with time it could completely resolve it, but it wouldn't be a, a quick fix. But um, a healing and transmission system could address some of the core issues there. Um, it may have to be addressed at a little bit higher level, at the curse level, but um, we, can, we can look into that if necessary, okay? All right. So Petra Marie asks, what is the root cause of her skin issue on her left foot? She's had it since 1.5 years and it doesn't heal. Yeah, I'm hearing it, it's bacterial and it's systemic, meaning it's, it's, it's opportunistic, running through the bloodstream a bit. And um, uh, you may wish to soak your feet in um, um, magnesium salts a lot, as it doesn't like those. Um, there may be a need to, to apply natural antibiotics like a colloidal silver or something like that. Uh, if you haven't already received directly healing for it, you may wish to consider that. Um, it's, in, it, it's something where because it's systemic, because it's um, running through the bloodstream, it's not something that should be left unattended for a much longer period of time in general. And it's also impacting your heart a bit, Petra, um, because of the bacteria impacts the heart's functionality. So be aware of that, okay? All right. Uh, Kelsey, now Kelsey, you're on the newer side, so I wanna make sure I take care of the veterans first. Same with you, Don. So I'm gonna come back to you after I take care of some of the veterans, uh, as well as um, Yvonne and Raul. Uh, I will make sure I take care of you as long as I take care of my the people have been supporting me first. So I'm gonna go down. Um, okay, Yvonne says, had some troubles today, uh, no clue how it happened, no memory to recall. It happened every time when I feel very dizzy and lost my things several times. <clears throat> yeah, Yvonne, there's a blockage in your Y jow between your, um, your kundalini area and your brain, and it's not feeding your kidneys the right way. You're doing your practices, but there's a blockage in there. So, so um, maybe practice more with Master Shah's yu ya yo dao chanting, and if you have any Divine Healing Hand treasures or a book, especially um, um, San Jiao Chong Tong, the last calligraphy in Soul Healing Miracles, San Jiao Chong Tong will move the energy. And that should help you, Ivan. Okay, hi all the new people. I want to acknowledge you. Please forgive me for not getting to you right away. I will do my best. Okay, so I've scrolled down and I see that there's no immediate new questions coming up, so now I'll go back to Kelsey. Um, so Kelsey, uh, what is the root cause of the face swelling, karmic ramifications? Okay. How? 
for our dear Kelsey. There was a lifetime in which you, as a man, would make fun of other people's facial conditions, especially those that had diseases of the day. You were blessed in this lifetime to have a strong immune system and therefore did not receive many of those conditions. You were also in the higher statuses, therefore you had natural fruits and vegetables that maintained your immunity, whereas those peasants did not. It would be of great value for you to ask for forgiveness for this in all lifetimes that a part of you that is not the you today may have made inappropriate comments, dishonoring and disrespectful comments to others. Ask for and offer forgiveness to all those that have brought the reminders to you in this lifetime because both are equally important. This is your Heaven's Team. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, welcome, Kristen. You're welcome. Okay, Don D asks, what's the root cause of my continuing tailbone pain even after I had it removed a few years ago? <clears throat> the soul of Don D is the soul of this question and the answer. Please come. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh. How? For our dawn, there was a lifetime in which there was a business in which you had assisted others in the transportation of materials, minerals, whatever basically was needed. You were the owner of a Buro, Buro, transporting business. You brought a great deal of business to the area, and although you were not mean necessarily to your animals, you also utilized them much like machinery, somewhat uh, careless. This is the root cause of the suffering for the tailbone because of the pain in the animal's backs by the use until they were useless uh, activity. Our encouragement to you is also to work with forgiveness. You may best be served by a healing and transmission system to remove the karma associated with that debt and on a new soul level a new tailbone would be put into place. This new tailbone includes new energy, matter and a light wall protection and as such although the physical tailbone would not necessarily regrow the energetic energy and matter at the soul level would create likely create a result you desire for this in all future lifetimes. This is your Heaven's Team. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome, Yana, and I see Yvonne. Uh, I'm going to come back to you, Yvonne. I just want to scroll down a bit and see if any of the uh, people who have been watching for a while have asked some questions. Okay, so Cheryl Healing Ray is one of the people who has been supporting and coming for a while, so I want to answer her question. She says, I have been told that I have mitral valve issues and now red blood cell count is abnormal. Doctors think it is cancer. I'd like to know my health condition and what's the next step. Okay. How for our dear Cheryl. 
the conditions that have been suggested by the doctors are both possibilities. One of the things that is most important to know is that all illness has a root in karma. All illness can be resolved by removing the root. Much of the experience you are having is as a result of your misalignment with yourself and your Creator, with your focus on fear and lack. You could do much to bring about a positive set of experiences and therefore an energetic shift in the physical body by using this opportunity as a catapult to readdress your focus, purpose, and intention in life. This life is not to suffer through and then start again. This life is to see the joy wherever it can be found, to find the joy when you are unable to see it, and to share the joy so that others too may be uplifted. If this is the only focus, then it is a natural side effect that your soul will heal, that you will align with it and the divine. Pay attention to the suggestions, but do not move into any place of fear. There are many, many tools available for healing, and there are many available to serve you. But start by shifting the energy to one of gratitude and happiness. This is your Heaven's Team. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so now I'm going back. And Yvonne. Uh, Yvonne Ohu Makini uh, Ernest. She says she thinks this is wonderful. And she asks a question What is the root cause of her chronic hip and shoulder joint pain? <clears throat> the soul of Yvonne, Yvonne Seven Steams, God, Angels, and Saints, and these uh, information that is most appropriate for her to hear regarding the root causes. Thank you. For our beloved Yvonne, the root cause is specific to a I, I'm hearing both words actually. It's it's a it's, it has a viral source that that impacts the the joints and the musculature. But I'm also hearing the word parasites, and I don't quite know how they connect. Maybe one provides a a playing field for the other to operate in. But I'm specifically getting a weakening of the muscles and the joints around it. It could be addressed um, through consistent healing. So anybody in your healing groups um, if there is a consistent level of, of focused, high-level healing towards it. But I just asked if the healing and transmission system would work, and it said for the shoulder, quite a bit more. For the chronic hip, it would be nominal, maybe 50%, and then you'd have to get a consistent healing again and again and again, and it could eventually um, bring it back to a, a, a pretty good state. Yeah, that's all I'm getting for now. 
。好 ，OK。So Raul has asked, "Thank you. I would like to know more about the root cause of my frequent fatigue and lack of energy." This is all of Raul. This is all of this、um, question he has. First thing I hear, Raul, is actually your heart.、Um, I'm hearing that you should pay very special attention to natural things for your heart, and specifically. Become more familiar with your blood type and foods that are not good for you.、Um, also, foods that are are blood building, blood boosting. So, do more work, do more research around.、Um, it doesn't really matter what the doctors say. Oh, your heart's strong. Okay.、Um, the thing about the thing about soul, soul healing, and the understanding of soul. Is the soul has the sickness first before it ever shows up in the physical level? Now you're already getting some representations of that. <clears throat> you can do things like take some cayenne pepper pills, okay, the the actual capsules. If you get a boost in energy, there you go, validation. Okay, that's another way to check. There's a couple of different ways you can check, but that's the message I'm getting for you, Raul. So you can check into that. Okay, Carrie Ann has asked, "How can I calm my anxiety?" So for you,、uh, Carrie Ann, it has to do a great deal with self self worth values.、Um, there's there's not a strong base. Your lower three energy centers, one, two, and three, have almost no foundation. Therefore, you're here up almost all the time. Visualize a pyramid where you have a strong, solid base, and the top is so you have a strong, heavy base. No, no tidal wave can knock it over. In your case, energetically speaking, you're more like upside-down pyramid where you get knocked around a bit. And the root that I'm hearing for you actually has to do with、um, self-sufficiency, self-confidence, self-trust, all things self. So my suggestion would be to do. Learn and do practices for the first, second, and third soul house chakras.、Um, Doctor Master Shah's techniques are very good for that. You can receive blessings to clear the blockages. If there, I can help you with that. But you need to boost, boost, boost every day, every day, every day, and then work on things that build your self worth, self value, and the anxieties will just naturally go away. Okay, Lisa, dear Master Paul, what could be the root cause of our nervous system oversensitivity? To environments and energies of others, it can be extremely overwhelming and exhausting, especially in New York City. Well, the solution is to move. <laughs> okay. How for our dear Lisa, a great deal of it has to do with the olf, with the、um, clairvoyant senses. You have a an a、uh, clairaudient abilities. You hear not only with your physical ear, but you hear with your with your psychic ear. And、um, <clears throat> this is spread out、uh, where it appears to be. You know, an energetic nervous thing, but it actually has to do. What I'm hearing, it has to do more with is um, um, an attunement to to all things energetic. Now, the reality is, is we're moving into、uh, the next dimension, and the the ability to see things with the third eye, the ability to hear these things, the the we will have more and more of this coming to us. So, the long term solution, the long term solution. Is to truly balance our energy body. All seven soul houses, seven chakras, the energy and matter circle.、Um, doing as best you can to clear the blockages in each of these.、Um, as far as the diet, pretty straightforward and obvious. Remove heavy metals; they cause a lot of miswiring of the information. <clears throat> and what will happen is because you took the time to clear the, the spiritual body,、um, more so than whatever you probably have done, and I'm guessing you have done some. Um, then, and most importantly, 
you need to to um, maintain all around you a, a higher frequency. Again, the, the spiritual teacher and father I work with, Master Shah, carries a lot of books and music, things like that, that are a really, really high frequency. And what happens is when we clear our vessel and we surround ourselves with those frequencies, it's very hard for those things outside of us to impact us negatively. It will if we go outside, um, you know, but if we keep, for example, the love, peace, and harmony soul song in our ear, then um, we're ten we, we are much able to s easier to sustain the, uh, the gains that we've made and the, um, the clearings that we have taken the time to do. So I can assist you with more of that if you're unfamiliar with, with this teacher. And then um, as far as clearing the blockages, it's something that can also be addressed. Um, everybody on here can, can go to more to my website. It's listed above the video. And anybody who's new, by the way, you can push the follow button in the right-hand corner and learn more, more about this. Okay, I hope that assists you. Um, and again, I'm going to scroll to the bottom and make sure I'm taking care of my veterans, make sure that um, the people that have been supporting me uh, get their questions answered first because last two days I was taking care of other people. But I don't see any new questions yet. <clears throat> okay. So welcome Irma, welcome Eolin. She says, Dear Master Paul, what's the root cause of her eye problem? For our dear Eolin, this is a karma that was created directly by your presence in a different lifetime in which in that lifetime there was a misuse of oils to bring about a desired result by those who received the oils to their eyes. The result that was desired was inappropriately being demanded upon the other and as a result the karma is actually a bit high. It would be a value for you to consider blessings specifically for this spiritual debt as it has followed you for approximately 34 lifetimes and would continue for approximately the same if it is not permanently addressed. It is something that should be not ignored as it has the potential to create greater problems down the road. How? Okay. So I want to stop and give a little bit of explanation as to um, what some of the potential solutions are. It's very always very good to know what the root causes are and my spiritual teacher and father Dr. and Master Shah uh, has a one sentence sacred the root of all success and all failure in every aspect of life is karma so we know that that's the root but it brings it to us in the form of a physical suffering and emotional and mental imbalance whatever it might be but the root is the karma and this root lays at the level of soul which lives forever our physical experience is temporary. We come, we go, we come, we go. So the healing transmission system and the other um, healing abilities that, that I and all of Dr. Master Shah's divine channels have received is the ability to offer a blessing. There's three parts to the, there's many different blessing levels, low, medium, high. The one I'm explaining now is called the healing and transmission system, which has the greatest impact. It has a little bit higher honor fee but it also has the highest propensity of success. How it works is we recognize that the root cause is at the level of soul. So we offer a very special request called the divine order 
and at that time heaven opens its virtue banks. A spiritual debt is exactly that. It's just like a house debt. If it's not paid off, you don't get to keep the house. And so if you have a spiritual debt, it will continue to come to you and create suffering until such time as it's paid off. It can be paid off through great love. It can be paid off through great service where you generate a lot of virtue in your virtue account in heaven. It can be paid off through deep and authentic forgiveness. These are all things that you have control over. So it helps to understand the root cause because then you can go into deep and authentic forgiveness. You can ask heaven, divine, Tao, source. You can ask the souls that have been harmed to please forgive you and your ancestors. Sometimes these root causes are so deep, you need to go a little bit further. And that's where divine services come in. As a, as a worldwide representative uh, and divine channel of Dr. Master Shah, I have the authority to offer what's called a divine order. And this is requesting God to pay off the spiritual debt on your behalf. Don't really expect you to understand it, but I can tell you that once you experience it, you don't question it. And how it works is virtue is released. It goes to your Akashic records, which holds on to that spiritual debt. <clears throat> A portion or all of it is paid off according to the divine. Um, that spiritual debt is then released. It's released at the level of soul. What does that mean? That means your soul's been carrying it for who knows how many lifetimes. But your physical body is representing it at the physical level. So you change it here at the source, at the core. Down here, it reflects it. Often it's instant. Sometimes it takes a week, even longer. It really depends on the heaviness of that particular karmic condition. And it also depends on how much damage has occurred. If you look, for example, at a frozen shoulder, you offer a blessing, it can release the blockages. The second blessing is called light wall protection. The light wall protection, I see my uh, video, so I'm going to repeat myself. The light wall protection um, comes in and instantly, heavens, generals, and soldiers surround the area. So, so darkness can't come back. Whatever the, the karma was, it cannot return to that specific area. This allows the area to go through a healing process. The third uh, divine order is new energy and matter called Shen, Qi, and Jing. Shen is soul, heart, and mind. Qi is energy. Jing is matter. Shen, Qi, Jing. New soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter, which is in essence what the universe is made up of, uh, comes in. Now this is a karma-free energy and matter, and it comes to that frozen shoulder, that heart issue, whatever the source is of the suffering. It works just as well for anxiety. I offered a blessing just the other day that worked quite well. Um, because the, the root of the anxiety is suffering. Uh, the root of it is karma and so forth. So it, it's not limited to the physical. That's one unique thing about a healing and transmission system. Karma runs through relationships. It runs through soulmates. It runs through everything. And so it can address just about everything. So when this blessing is offered, the new energy of matter comes in. If the area has been damaged for a while, then yes, the darkness leaves right away. Yes, the light wall comes right away. But the pain and the suffering may take a half hour, an hour, two days, a week, a month to fully recover as it's rebuilding the area. Okay? So that's what's called a soul and body healing and transmission system. And it's something that you can uh, receive through myself or any other worldwide representatives of Dr. Master Shah. If you're interested in one, you just go to my Facebook or my, uh, yeah, you can message me on Facebook. I can talk to you about it. On my webpage, which is asoulhealer.com, it's also listed above. Um, you can check out that information there as well. I'm happy to answer any of the questions you have. Um, and it can be offered at a distance or in person. It really doesn't matter. It works regardless. So that's a bit more background information as to some of the solutions that are available when you're dealing with pretty hard to clear stuff. And when it comes to some of the deeper karmic implications, it's really good to know that there are some solutions out there. Okay. And so Ann Vascaris says, she says, Paul, I got a tick by three years ago. I'd love to be grateful to receive a healing. Um, and I did offer healing for you yesterday on that. And my suggestion to you is um, to uh, join a group I'm going to be forming. I'm going to form a twice a month direct 30 minute healing group. It'll j I'll just be using my, my treasures and I'll be offering directly 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to try to get at least 10 people or more to join the group which means I can keep it very, very affordable for everybody. And in this way, um, uh, everybody can get uh, you know, very good healing uh, on a consistent basis, and it's something that will be very valuable, okay? So keep, keep in touch with me on that, and I'm gonna be developing that in the course of this week, okay? 
<coughs> and Michael Kur says heart failure in second week June 2016. What is the source? Okay. Do the soul of Michael, the soul of this uh, condition, and whatever additional information from Michael can assist him. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. So for you, Michael, um, some of the information uh, I have to be careful with, it's, it's not directly related to you, it's directly related to your ancestors on your father's side, going back a ways, but there were, there were some in that lineage that they were not serving the light side, I guess is the best way to put it, okay? They, were, um, they didn't have the highest intentions to serve humanity in the right way. And um, if they had done wonderful things, you would be wealthy, you would have great life, great health, great everything. And you might not know why you have those wonderful things. It would be because your ancestors may have done good things. But in this case, um, some of the things that, that they had done has impacted you. Some of it's from you, but most of it's from them. That's the source of it, okay? Again, um, in your case, the healing and transmission system could have a lot of value, could add quite a bit more time to your life under the right conditions. I am hearing very specifically that you should call forth the ancestors' souls and do forgiveness practice um, on their behalf. If you're not familiar with that, the forgiveness practice is something very, very common, very highly recommended through Master Shah's system. Okay. Um, so Angie says, Hi Paul, I would love to ask a question on myself today with battling weight. Is there something that causes me to hold on to fat other than the obvious not being healthy? even if I go to the gym and eat more. Yeah, it actually has to do with, um, with um, there's an entire chemical imbalance that's going on. <clears throat> um, it's partially due to the chemicals in the body, the, the ingested ones. It's partially due to the stress. It's partially due to the um, adrenal structure being out of whack. It's, it's partially due to the, the consistent toxicities of the general things that are running throughout your body. So a reset is really what's necessary, Angie. It's more like um, I'm hearing 90 days and a true um, uh, you know, vegetarian kind of uh, vegetarian fruit diet. Avoid animal fats as much as possible. Just do the right thing all the way through. Clean out the crud, clean out the metals, clean out the bad stuff. Um, and give your body a chance to reset. It might even require like a real two-week vacation where you just totally unwind. The body will then reset, and as long as you maintain, then the, re the new chemical balance will, will put you where you want to be. But it's mostly just a recapitulation of the same old stuff, and it hasn't had a chance to reset. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so Kelsey says, Thank you, Bahuana, feeling blessed to be here. Carol's watching, wonderful Sarah. Don D, you're very welcome. Alba, feeling pain in her lower back. For you, Alba, I'm hearing it's related to your kidneys um, and fear. And so um, drink more water, drink more micro-clustered water if you can get a hold of it. <clears throat> um, place your, both your palms on your kidneys and visualize dark blue ocean water uh, and then chant yu ya yo dao yu ya yo dao This incorporates body power where you place your hands, mind power visualizing the, the deep ocean blue and the sound power yu ya yo dao uh, You'll have to do that like 15 minutes a day uh, but if you did it a couple of days, you would find that it would probably eliminate itself. And you have to ask to address, address the core, uh, which may be some fear going on there. There's also definitely a water weakness. Okay, uh, Ricardo. Dear Master Paul, I feel a very strong spiritual side that is blocked to some extent or in some way. I always fall back to the ego's bad habits. How do I transform over my true spiritual self and spiritual side? So immediately what I heard, Ricardo, is that there are what's called soul house blockages. We all have seven chakras. And you have um, from one through four, 
one, two, three, four, there's quite a bit of stuff going on in here. Uh, in the first one, there is, there is um, addictions that have some pretty deep roots, and they're energetically, they're stuck down there. And that's why you, you, you go up, 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 and then it gets like drags you back down because it's a pretty strong root. Um, you may want to look into some of the, the clearing for these areas that can come through this type of healing. Others may assist you. You can try them, see how well they work for you. But that's where the roots are. The karma is kind of holding you in that pattern. There is pretty big blockages here too in the heart center. Um, I'm getting that you do have a pretty big open heart, but there's there's some root stuff in there that have to do with um, self-love, self-value, self-worth, kind of hidden because you're, uh, the message I'm getting is you're more extroverted that no one would guess that, but I'm also getting that you're, you've been hurt by a, by a very true love one time and that that hasn't really healed yet. And so you have this extroverted way of being, but it's covering up things a bit. And so this reversal, it goes up and it hits that blockage and then it goes back down. And so this whole area is having a blockage. That's what I'm getting. So hopefully that assists you. So welcome, Jennifer. Welcome, Carol. Carol says, my heart's not opening as it's best and I'm having some weight issues. Any ideas? Hey, uh, Carol, are you doing your practices? No. You need to do practices. You need to get on the chanting channel. You need to open the books and chant through the seven soul houses and the Wai Jiao. You need to chant love, peace, and harmony to serve others. These naturally remove the stagnation that you're feeling. You'll feel better. You just need to do more service for others. You're still a little too much up here. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Welcome, Stephanie. Welcome. Sarah Ann Boan, I haven't felt well, just, <clears throat> just, I haven't felt well, just period. Lots of anxiety about not long ago, it was hypothyroidism, I'm afraid it's coming back. I thought maybe that would explain my anxiety and, and general feeling of awfulness of, or unwellness. Okay, let's see, what is the source for Sarah? Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. So for you, Sarah, there is a root. There is a viral bacterial root. It's keeping your immune system very suppressed. It's causing your organs and your adrenals to, <coughs> to be overstimulated and therefore causing imbalances in the hypothyroid as well. It's putting pressure on your heart to perform more to make up the difference. And it's impacting your oxygen levels as well. Your oxygen levels have been low as a result. Um, I'm also getting that you may have a little bit of anemia going on, so you might want to check into that. Um, you might want to, this is a, a grandmother's recipe of um, mixing about a tablespoon every day of blackstrap molasses in hot water and sipping it uh, every day, every day, every day. And that carries with it a lot of the natural minerals and a lot, and this is for any woman. It's really good for anyone that has menstrual issues, um, especially any, any uh, heavy emotion sways as a result of anything associated with that. The blackstrap molasses tends to be a really good solution. Uh, in hot water and just sip it every day, about a tablespoon every day. Um, the, it's one of the best sources of natural iron, which helps with the anemia conditions. That will also bring up the hypothyroid a bit. It will feed your heart what it needs. It probably won't provide a long-term solution. It'll provide a, a good boost up and a new level in which at least you'll have more energy. Um, but one of the roots that I'm hearing is a viral and a bacterial. And so you want to specifically search out um, herbs that are specific to taking out, out viral things and boosting immune system, okay? All right, Bruce, 
Uh, how can I make peace with both my physical and mental issues that he's experiencing right now? Okay. My dear Bruce, this is your soul. I love you. Thank you for your dedicated effort to our health and well-being, trying to figure out why you have had the suffering you have had. I tell you that some of it, it just happened. And some of it is as a result of choices that were made in a time prior to your incarnation by a previous version of you in a previous incarnation. I am choosing not to give you the specific information at this time as to what might have been done, but suffice it to say that whatever mental suffering you are going through is very equivalent to that which was caused upon others. And you could receive value by working with forgiveness and asking for forgiveness by the possibility of having caused the sufferings you are currently experiencing upon others at other times, regardless of your memory of it. <clears throat> you are also in a place where you wish to move forward on your spiritual journey, but are feeling a bit stagnant by multiple factors, including relationship, finances, and of course your physical. Put your spiritual journey first. The others will then receive perspective that will allow you to align correctly and not to be so disoriented, so to speak. Work more with the knowledge and wisdom of forgiveness and the power of love, peace, and harmony to heal and transform these most basic world blockages that simply do not allow us to move into alignment with our true self. I will guide you I will assist you. I am your soul. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to Bruce's soul for that guidance. Yvonne says thank you. Uh, Rule says thank you. Stephanie asked for guidance for her son, Azuria. Uh, social anxiety, okay? Yeah, you know, his root is also in um, a high level of sensitivity. Um, his ability to take in the information is a bit overwhelming. His heart is very open, but his comprehension goes through a very specific filter that is, um, it's not, it's not, um, it doesn't know how to handle too much input at once. So it's not a negative. He should be supported that he has an open heart and that is a very good thing and that 
he needs to be able to focus, teach him to focus on one or two things in the room or the location or the social condition he's, he goes to and um, draw that energy, have that be his central focus. Because he has to have a central focus. Part of what occurs for him is that too much comes in and then he shuts down. If he always has a point of focus, then that can be the overriding charge and then the other stuff won't have so much um, impact on him. As he gets older, he will naturally open up more of his brain synapses and more possibilities. Um, and it won't be near as, as difficult for him, but he needs now that kind of a, a very specific suggestion to give him a, a, a route to work with so he can then build from that. That's the message I'm getting. Okay, Stephanie? <clears throat> and Carrie Ann says, thank you. Alba says, thank you. Welcome, Allison. Jessica Smiley says, hey, Paul. Malabsorption, inflamed gallbladder, digestive issues, and inability to gain weight. And so, Jessica, you're going to be the last one that I'll be working with today. So, and I want to offer my deepest gratitude to everybody that has come today. Thank you so much. Uh, you can learn more about me and my services. Just go to my website, asoulhealer.com. You can also Facebook message me, okay? All right, so this is for Jessica. Malabsorption, inflamed gallbladder, digestive issues, and inability to gain weight. There's quite a bit of karma stuff in all the in, in, intestinal tract. Um, I'm hearing definitely red meat is bad for you. There is a, a, a parasite infection And it's something that you want to be aggressive with. There's definitely a heavy metal activity going on and the combination of those. There is some viral, some bacterial, but it's actually the other two that are more pertinent, the heavy metals and the um, um, parasite infection. They're causing a great deal of the malabsorption and a great deal of the um, blockages that are occurring for you. If you haven't tried it already, as a general um, piece of awareness, you can take a look at the Hulda Clark liver flush, H-U-L-D-A Clark, Hulda Clark liver flush. It's very good for clearing out the gallbladder. It's non-invasive, it's non-painful, and in um, uh, the right conditions could be very, very valuable for you. But take a look at those other two things as well, Jessica, okay? All right, so thank you all for coming in. I wanna also acknowledge Brenda, uh, Canyon, thank you for coming. Cynthia Marie, Sarah Lance. Um, I'm sorry I haven't had a chance to get to your questions. Uh, Claire and uh, Glenda. Angie, Bridget, uh, Robrette, and Kristen, um, Ricardo, Tiffany. Jean came in. Amy, uh, Amy Alice, Anne Marie Stewart, and. Um, I see Kathy Schneider just came in. Okay, and Kelly LeBlanc, <coughs> Charmaine at the end there. So again, I ran out of time, I apologize. Facebook cuts me off at the hour mark. So if I don't say uh, my goodbyes now. But again, anybody can get a private soul reading. They're $60 for a half hour, $120 for an hour. My healing services, they're, they're very affordable for the most part, considering when you have very, very, uh, very serious conditions. And um, these have a high propensity of bringing about resolve much faster. So you can Facebook message me or contact me through my website, asoulhealer.com. I will be back here tomorrow to serve you. I believe tomorrow will probably be the last day that I do this directly, soul healing, soul readings. I usually come in, maybe do it once or twice, once or twice every other week. 
but I don't want to do it every day. I also come in and I do, do teachings. I do teachings on the power of soul, the power of forgiveness, healing and blessing of the I individual soul houses and individual organs and systems. So I often just focus on the heart, for example, do healing and blessings for that. So each week you can expect something new. Last week I did relationships because soul is in everything. And so continue to come back, even though it might not be directly related to your specific health issue, we'll be very surprised at the, the wisdom that can come with the power of soul and how it can serve you. It's every day, Monday through Friday, 2 p.m. Hawaii time, 5 p.m. Pacific time, 8 p.m. Eastern time, and uh, 10 a.m. Australian, and in India quite early, it's about 5.30 a.m. And if I didn't mention your time zone, I apologize, I probably don't know it, okay? But just come to my page and click, uh, click refresh and you'll catch me. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See you tomorrow. Please share, please like, hit the follow button. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.